Hi there, and welcome back to Create with Tech. So today I'm going to show you how I use ChatGPT to help me program a turntable that is also capable of doing photogrammetry. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this, stay tuned and I'll be right back. Welcome back. So before I dive into the intricate details of this project, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any future videos. So let's rewind a bit. For a long time, whenever I had to showcase a 3D print or any other item on my channel, I turned to my trusty old Lazy Susan that I bought from the dollar store. So it got the job done, kind of. But there was a problem. It didn't have a motor, which meant that every time it rotated, it did so with an unrefined jerky motion that hardly screamed professional. So I had an idea for quite a while, which is to make something a lot better than the Lazy Susie that would serve both as a turntable for product display and a high precision tool for photogrammetry. Basically, what I wanted to do was create 3D models, and I thought that I could integrate the turntable with a device that would also allow me to take photos for 3D modeling. So today, I am going to walk you through the process that I went through to make this turntable. Okay, before I dive into the nuts and bolts of how I got this done, I need to, first of all, tell you that uh, my electronics expertise is um, limited, very limited. And um, while I have a reasonable grasp of 3D design, I'm not exactly a master at it. But what I did have was a vision and some essential components. So I had an ESP32, a uh, 28 BYJ48 stepper motor, it's one of those really small stepper motors, a ULN 2003 driver, a breadboard, and a power supply module. And I also had a 3.5 millimeter stereo cable that I was going to use to control the camera. So I was going to adapt the 3.5 millimeter stereo cable to a 2.5 millimeter uh, cable that would fit in my camera. So I got down to business and I assembled the electronic components. And the way I figured out how to do this was by watching some videos, uh, reading some tutorials, um, reading a couple of articles. Basically, I wanted to make sure that I understood the process and that my connections were right on. And surprisingly, the process was pretty straightforward. So um, this is where it gets a little more complicated because I didn't just want a turntable. I wanted something a little more complex. I wanted a variable speed turntable. So essentially I wanted to be able to rotate it forwards, backwards, and I wanted it to be able to go fast, uh, slow, medium, and so on. And I also, and this is crucial, wanted it to link seamlessly with my camera for automatic photogrammetry. Essentially, I wanted it to trigger the camera to take photos automatically. So getting the basic stepper motor program running was a breeze, but creating a program that could adjust speeds, reverse directions, and halt precisely 12 and 24 times for those perfect photogrammetry shots, well, that was a bit more difficult, a bit of a head scratcher, really. So this is where chat GPT comes into the story. So you're probably familiar with chat GPT and you've probably heard about the debates uh, around AI taking over jobs or the perils of a future matrix like existence. But my experience was a little bit different because I didn't just want AI to do the work for me. What I wanted was for it to guide me in the right direction. I wanted to understand the process 
And I was hoping that ChatGPT would be able to help me with that. So I asked it to write a simple Arduino IDE program to operate the stepper motor. And to my amazement, it worked perfectly the first time around. Uh, it was able to do a simple rotation of the stepper motor without any issues whatsoever. So that made me a little more confident and I thought I'm gonna push the envelope a little more. And I challenged ChatGPT to write a program that responded to letter commands from my smartphone. So S for slow, M for medium speed, and F for fast speeds. Now I have to admit that it wasn't able to do this the first time around. It took a bit of work, a bit of interaction between myself and ChatGPT, but eventually it was able to do what I asked it to do. And um, it was very impressive because it worked really well. And what I liked best of all about it was that um, it was like having a personal uh, coding tutor. It was able to help me understand the code. So even though I don't know much about coding, I know a little bit about it, this was a great way to learn about the syntax and um, how everything works together. So ultimately, ChatGPT wasn't just a problem solver, it was also a teaching assistant. It was able to patiently unravel the programming concepts for me. It helped me dissect the syntax. And when I asked, it was able to give me explanations on how everything fit together until I grasped each concept. Okay, so I had the basic software done, but I wasn't finished yet because I needed ChatGPT's uh, help with integrating the camera with the turntable. So essentially I wanted it to stop at precise intervals and capture images, so either 12 or 24 shots based on commands from my smartphone. So at this point, a wired connection was the most practical choice. Initially I was going to try to use uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth but that was a little too much and so uh, I thought I would just stick with a wired connection. And I have uh, a Canon DSLR that's equipped with a 2.5 millimeter shutter input and so that was I thought the perfect uh, camera to use for this purpose. But the real puzzle for me was figuring out the wiring for the camera and the ESP32. And once again, I used ChatGPT to help me with this. Essentially, it was able to give me step-by-step -step guidance on how to take a 3.5 millimeter uh, cable and find out how to wire it to the camera and I was able to uh, solder the proper connections and also I was able to use a multimeter to double check my soldering and uh, it was a really easy process for me even though I knew nothing about how to do this previously. So I was able to use the continuity test on my multimeter um, and it was uh, really a, a great learning experience. So I was able to do this and that was great, but the next step was integrating the camera into the software. And this was a little more difficult. Now, ChatGPT was able to help me with that, but I also had a friend who understood the concept. So I turned to him and um, this person is pretty well versed in Arduino IDE programming and he was able to help me finesse the code and um, make sure that it worked with the camera. So while the code itself is simple, integrating it seamlessly into the software was a bit of a challenge, but eventually I was able to make it work and the electronics uh, were basically ready to go. The final piece of the puzzle was the turntable itself. So using FreeCAD, I created a design that 
allowed for interchangeable platforms of different colors. This way, I could tailor the platform to the object I was showcasing, ensuring that it stood out. So after 3D printing the housing and assembling everything, it was time to test it out. And incredibly, everything functioned flawlessly. The turntable seamlessly synced with the camera. And my first 3D model attempt yielded a pretty good result. Not perfect, but it was definitely passable. All right, so let's talk about the missing piece we haven't covered yet, control. So I didn't just want a turntable. I wanted a turntable that could be controlled remotely via Bluetooth using a custom app I had in mind. So when I was first controlling the turntable, I used serial Bluetooth terminal to test letter commands, but I had a bigger thing in mind. Essentially, I wanted to create my own app. That's when I stumbled on MIT App Inventor, a free app development platform. It uses a visual block-based interface that simplifies app creation. So I went out, I researched it, and then with a bit of effort, I came up with an app that, while not the prettiest to look at, got the job done. All right, so here's the app. And as you can see, it is not the most attractive app in the world, but it does offer simple and effective control over the turntable and the photogrammetry process. So it is divided into two parts. Here, you control the turntable and here you control the photo options. So the first thing that you need to do is connect to Bluetooth. And you do that by going to the Choose Device button. And here, the device is called Product and Photogrammetry Turntable. You click on that, and it connects you to the device. Now, in order to go forward, you simply hit the Forward button. And the turntable, as you can see, will start to turn forward very slowly. If you want to go faster, you touch the accelerate button and it will go faster. If you tap it again, it will go even faster. Again, it will go even faster than that. If you want to slow it down, you just tap the slower button. And if you want to go slower than that, you tap it again and it slows down. Now, if you want to stop it, you can either tap the slower button or the stop button. Uh, so if we tap the slower button, it will stop completely. Now you might be asking, well, why bother having a stop button if you can actually stop it with the slower button? Well, the reason for that is this. Let's say that you want to accelerate the turntable like so, and you want to stop it without making it go slower. In that case, all you have to do is hit the stop button like so, and it stops the turntable completely. You do not have to touch the slower button uh, option. If you want to go backwards, you do the same thing. You tap the backward but button, the turntable will start to turn backwards. If you want to go faster, you hit the accelerate button. And if you want to go faster than that, you hit the accelerate button again, and so on. And it will go faster. If you want to go slower, you tap the slower button, and the slower button again, and you can go slower. And once again, if you want to uh, stop it, you can either tap the slower button, or if you prefer, you can just tap the stop button and it will make it stop completely, like so. There we go. All right, now the photogrammetry options are very simple. You can take as few as six photos and as many as 48 photos. Now you've already seen how it works, so I'm not gonna show you here, but basically you 
tap the button and it will start rotating and taking the photos and it will uh, stop once it reaches the number of photos that you've chosen. Now in the video earlier I said I was only going to have the option to choose 12 or 24 photos but I thought that I would expand that and I would uh, make it possible to take as few as 6 and as many as 48. So that's it. That's how the app works. Uh, it's not the most visually appealing app in the world but it is functional. It is straightforward. You can easily control the turntable and adjust the number of photos for photogrammetry. So the app does what it does and it does it well. So that's the story of how ChatGPT was helpful in bringing this versatile turntable to life that serves both as a product display platform and a precision tool for photogrammetry. AI is a hot topic these days, sparking debates about its role in our lives. But in my journey, it was more than just a tool. It was a valuable guide and a teacher. So there's one more thing before I leave. If you're eager to embark on a similar project, I've got good news. I'll be sharing all the STL files and electronic configurations for you to download. What's even better? It's a budget-friendly, straightforward endeavor. If I can do it, so can you. So before I wrap up, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support means the world to me and helps me keep creating content like this. So that's it for today. Take care, go create something extraordinary, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.